Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this banana and they want just the banana. If you can see, we can move it around and just the banana there. Pretty sharp, pretty clean. Uh, I've done several videos on exactly like this, but never on a, a banana. For the one I'm doing it for, I'm gonna reduce it in size. <clears throat> so we've got a 3.3. I wanna make my nudge factor five, which is good. What I'm gonna do is control D and make, well, see how big the bounding box is? This really doesn't matter, but in this case, it'll help Corel trace a little bit better, I think, if we crop out just the banana. Now, I had it selected when I did that, so it wouldn't knock everything else out. I'm gonna make a duplicate and I'm gonna move it down. Matter of fact, I'm gonna move it over. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna to go to Trace Bitmap, Outline Trace, Clip Art. I use that about 99% of the time. You can see some sad shadow and stuff, but that's fine. So there's our new banana. I am going to go to Object, Group, and Ungroup it. And I'm gonna get the shadow parts out of the way. And on this case, you can kind of leave it like that. It's still pretty rough, but we're gonna clean it up here after we're done. Then what I'm gonna do is take a rectangle. <clears throat> I'm gonna take the Smart Fill tool and I'm gonna fill it in. It doesn't matter what color. I'm gonna nudge it over. I am gonna use a different color just for people watching can see the blue. And then I'm gonna, I don't know which one I, well, both these are the same. So then I'm gonna take my blue and I'm gonna nudge it up and put it on top of that banana. We're pretty close, there's a little bit of banana left, but if we will select all of them, both of them, and go up here to intersect, it intersected just the banana. And if we put it on the black, you can really see the difference. So now you have no background. Now, there are some parts that are rough. <clears throat> if you have X7 or above, you can use a smoothing tool. I've got mine set on a half inch at 66. Basically, that's a speed of what it's gonna do or a rate. Click on your banana and just go along the edges. I mean, you can go pretty fast. Now, the reason I'm using black is that that's a bad part right there. So I'm gonna actually use the shape tool and I'm gonna add a node right, I'm gonna add a node right there and I'm gonna turn both these into a cusp because I don't want the other node to move. Whoop. When, when using a cusp, only one handle would be affected. That looks pretty good. There's a little bit of white up here. We can actually just bring that in. You know, who's gonna say what the banana looked like before you started? Now, there are quite a bit of nodes so if we take the smoothing tool again, and the, the um, smoothing tool is basically is gonna reduce nodes. I wish I would have counted nodes before I started. If we take the, let me back up here, see all the nodes. Let me grab the shape tool and grab all the nodes. Corel will count the nodes, there's 72 nodes. Take the smoothing tool, and smooth that out. Take the shape tool again, grab all your nodes. Now there's only 27 nodes. So we reduced them by a third. <clears throat> Maybe right in here, uh, depending, I mean, they're gonna print this. Um, now I'm gonna right click and turn this into a cusp because it's okay up here, but I wanna just bring, bring that in a little bit get rid of that white. The picture is actually still there. Uh, we're just blocking out the picture with the intersect tool. And I'll show you that the picture is still there because there you go. I think that looks pretty good. Anyway, I hope that helped him and thank you for watching.